Track and Trail Adventures with Wally Dahlenbeck. Presented by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Matthew Solo Cam. Catch us if you can. Bushnell. Magnify Life. Thompson Center Arms. Take your best shot. American Broadhead Company. Makers of the Sonic and Liberty Broadheads. And Hornady. Our reputation rides on every shot. Welcome to Track and Trail Adventures. Well, we're fresh off of Speed Weeks, just left Daytona Motor Speedway, and usually my next stop is right here at the Brady Ranch, just outside of Lake Okeechobee. Now, the Brady Ranch is known for its access to your herd. It's huge. You will see hundreds of access deer in this place, which is very, very cool. Now, if you've never tried access deer meat, you're missing out. It's probably the tastiest wild game you'll ever, ever have. It's fantastic. Now, I like this place so much, I always bring buddies of mine, and this week is no exception. I've got a couple of friends here, Jolly Don Green, he's here after a water buffalo, and Jack Berger, well, he's here for that access meet we talked about. So, should be a great show. Sit back and enjoy the ride. It didn't take long for me to jump into my camos and head off to a bow stand for an evening hunt. And why not do it in style? Danny and I didn't have to wait long for some action. As the sun goes down, the axis deer start filing out of the palm meadows. Like most other deer species, does and fawns first, followed by the bucks. And they just kept coming and coming. The first buck walked out. Now, he may be a shooter at a lot of other places, but not here at the Brady Ranch. We can do much better than this, and we let him pass. As the sun went down, we decided to call it an evening. The next morning, we headed off to a different spot, and as you can see, it's not early morning. Another reason I like to hunt this place so much, the axes move all times of the day, so if you don't like to get up at dark 30, like me, you can get that extra hour or two sleep in the morning. Now sometimes sleeping in and getting to your blind in the daylight is a problem. Like when it's very possible you had 1,000 set of eyes watching you get in the tree stand. Although maybe their curiosity will get the best of them. They are headed my way. Or maybe they're headed to that other pretty stand of trees off to my left. Where now I'm thinking I need to be. Ah, the grass is always greener. As you can see, it's very difficult to pick one out you like and then be able to get a shot. They're always moving around back and forth. You also have to be so still when you're sitting in that stand. So many eyes and ears to bust you. At least we had the wind in our favor. I better check on that bull sneaking up on me. Yep, he's still there. Now these two know something is up. These guys are probably at about 45 plus yards, not really in my range. I like them as close as possible. Besides, there's no real big bucks in this herd right at the front anyway. All the big ones are hanging in the back, letting the dumber ones lead the way. Now that's a really good buck, but he's also a very smart buck. He's just sitting back there in the shade, chilling out.
At the rate he's going, this bull may make it back to cover by the end of the week. My guide, Danny San Angelo, took me out to the new stand to see if I would have better luck, while he went to scout some new locations just in case we didn't. Again, the axes looked like they were going to walk right in front of me, but it just seemed to me they knew something wasn't right. And I act like it's no big deal, and I start glassing like I see something. And I did. Here's my buddy. Even this guy knew I was there, and he was 300 yards away. Yep, I'm a great hunter. At least I didn't spook the cows. We headed back to the lodge and picked up Danny's son Chris and my two friends Jack Berger and Jolly Green. Jolly wanted to go after an Asian water buffalo and I thought it would be fun to go along for the ride. Danny found the herd and had a pretty good idea which way they were headed, so we took off and set up in a clump of pines. and they did exactly as Danny thought and fed right towards the stand of trees we were set up in. Now the bull almost walked out of frame and was leaving, but he turned around and presented a great shoulder shot and that's where Jolly put it. Nice boo. Nice shot. Jolly, I believe it's a double celestial Herkimer. <laughs> He's a nice one. Got a good base uh. on him. Good curl to him. About what will he weigh, Danny? This one here looks like because he's the time of the year. Been breeding a lot. He's probably 1,200 pounds, 1,300 yeah. pounds. A big animal. Look at the hoofs on him. And where oh, yeah. did these originate from? It's an Asian water buffalo. There's this one here we, with the big curl to him. We call them a river buffalo. The other ones that you were seeing that kind of sweeped almost right. looked like the Australian. We call them the yeah. swamp. Well, Jolly, good luck yeah. cleaning them. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's just what we, I need. We'll meet you at the lodge, Jolly. <laughs> I have to pack him to the lodge. <laughs> <laughs> or you can eat them here. Yeah. We'll come back in a week or two. Yeah. Thank you, Dana. Appreciate it. As you can see, no horses needed. The second best way to pack them out, next to using a helicopter, of course. So while the buffalo was packed out, we headed back to the lodge for, you guessed it, more of that great tasting access meat. Track and Trail Adventures, presented by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here, Antler Ranch, raising the bar on genetics, Bushnell, Magnify Life. Arctic Cat, more to go on. Ranch King Blinds, custom hunting blinds to impress the hunted. The Cutty Back Digital, faster speed, longer battery life. For more information on today's featured products or track and trail approved outfitters, log on to trackandtrailtv.com.